Hey guys, how's it going? Um, coming back today, you with uh, for you guys with a new uh, another book review. This one's on the uh, this book right here called Philippa Gregory's uh, The Kingmaker's Daughter. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I, I know I had said it on my last video that I was going to be uh, doing a book review on this. And it's been a little while to read it though, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get right down to it. Um, the book's actually um, is written. Um, about uh, Anne Neville and Isabel Neville, which is uh, the Earl of Warwick, uh, also known as the Kingmaker's uh, daughters. And uh, the book starts off um, right after uh, Edward the Fourth has actually uh, just um, told everyone in the court that he secretly married um, Elizabeth Woodville. And, you know, she shows up at court, and it shows you just how. Uh, Everybody is in awe of her, you know, of her beauty and stuff. And then um, the book kind of progresses from there, and it says, um, and it changes, saying that, uh, you know, with, with Isabel being an Albert, of course, how uh, her father marries her sister off to George of Clarence, which is actually Edward the Fort's brother, in an, uh, in an attempt to uh, have his daughter as Queen of England. And so what he does is he... Um, Together with George of Clarence, Duke of Clarence, he um, wages a war against Edward the Fourth, and um, ultimately he fails. And at which point um, they still go, you know, they're still at court and everything, but there a lot of people shun them for, you know, because of uh, you know the Earl of Warwick changing, changing sides. So it goes on for that, and then next thing, next thing you know, it changes again with uh, the Earl of Warwick being forced to flee the country because he again attempts to turn sides against Edward and uh, so then he changes sides once again this time to uh, the Lancaster side of the story um, which is uh, Margaret of Anjou who um, was queen of Henry the sixth who Edward actually deposed from the throne so it, it you know and then from there it shows Anne Who's the main, like I said once again, is the narrator being married off to Margaret of Andrew's only son, the Prince Edward, and then they return to England, and uh, you know the prince is, is killed, at which point, as well as the Earl of Warwick, he is he you know is killed, and then uh, Anne is forced to live, you know, pretty much as an orphan and stuff, and then it, the story actually from there picks up a lot, and it, uh, and then from there it shows how Anne goes from being an orphan to ultimately becoming Queen of England uh, by being Queen to of uh, with uh, Richard the um, Third. Overall, though, I have to say this book has been a, was a very good book. It was definitely a page turner for sure. I you know I would sit down in my in my room and reading a chapter and just couldn't wait to see what the next chapter was. So it's really a good book. Um, I do highly suggest it to anyone that's interested in the War of the Roses, and especially anyone that's a fan of Philip Gregory. Um, the book is very fast-paced. It, uh, you know, it keeps you on your toes. You know, a couple of times in the book, I would, I was in shock. I, you know, I was uh, at one point I almost wanted to cry at some of the, some of the scenes and stuff. But overall, it's a very, very good book, and I do highly recommend it to anyone interested again in the War of the Roses and in Philippa Gregory. So guys, that's been another book review. Um, I, once I pick another book to read I will, uh, and I finish it, I will definitely post it up here on YouTube. Alright, thanks guys, and uh, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Later guys.